world peace. And kitchens. Now you must be wondering how those two things are related. During the next five minutes, I'm going to tell you how keeping your kitchen clean will bring peace into your life. As you know, we all need to eat and drink, and the natural place to do that is in the kitchen. Food is often like a glue that brings us together to share our thoughts and connect with other people. This is why companies like Google offer free food to their employees. In the beginning of this year, I started at a new job at Startup Sauna. It's a co-working space for students and startups on all the university campus. Right from the beginning, it was made very clear to me that keeping the kitchen clean is the number one problem there. <laughs> My workday would start more or less like coming to work. Corner. Until one of my colleagues would run into the room screaming, help, 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 the kitchen, it looks like from hell, and it smells like someone died there. I have guests coming, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? It was evident that the kitchen wasn't the heart and soul of our co-working space. It was building a wall between us instead of connecting people. <laughs> I was not just worried, I was scared. If this is how my new job starts, how am I going to survive the rest of the year? <sighs> However, after six months, our alumni decided to drop by and they were shocked. Oh, whew, the kitchen, it's clean. Startup sauna used to be a lot shittier back in my days. <laughs> there was no need to worry and definitely nothing to be scared of. I had cracked the code to keeping the kitchen clean and I'm going to share it with all of you. I have three points. Number one, commitment. Whether it's verbal or written, make sure that everyone is on the same page, working towards your common goal, keeping the kitchen clean. <laughs> Number two, divide and conquer. Now, keeping your kitchen clean, it can be like a big random blob somewhere over there that I'll deal with tomorrow. Thank you, bye. No, you can start today. You can take the big blob, divide it into small parts that anyone can do in less than five minutes. Number three, positive feedback loop. And this must be the most important thing. Say thank you. Tell your colleagues that you appreciate the time and effort that they have put in into making your life easier. Us Finns, we struggle a lot with this last point. When someone compliments us, we tend to downplay ourselves or reject the compliment. Oh, that, that was just nothing. No, no need to thank me. No, 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 no. Or then we completely dodge the compliment. Oh, it is a uh, nice weather outside. <laughs> or my absolute favorite one. This actually happened to me when I was saying thank you to one of my colleagues and his response, <sighs> I, oh, go. 
So my five senses, make it something concrete, something that they cannot escape or avoid. For example, a lollipop. Lollipops are great. You don't even need your hands to eat them. You can be on your cell phone or on your computer. You can do anything with a lollipop. To summarize my points, number one, commitment. Number two, divide and conquer. Number three, positive feedback loop. You might have realized by now that it's not only about kitchens. I want to end my speech with a thought. What if we all took the time to clean out the metaphorical kitchens in our lives? And not just in our own, but also in the lives of our loved ones. May you find peace in your kitchen. Namaste. Thank you.